Hello guys, I'm Rose Rod, and in this video, I'll be showing you how you can create your own flyer mockup in Adobe Photoshop. This is the image that we'll be using, and then here is the flyer that we'll be using for the mockup as well. The link to this image will be in the description below. Without wasting much time, let's get started. First of all, you have to select your quick selection tool over here. Make a selection of this white rectangle shape. Press Ctrl G to cut it out. Now when we turn off the background layer, the visibility of the background layer, we can see that we've cut out the white rectangle from its background. Select the rectangle shape over here, the rectangle tool over here. Left click and hold and drag to draw a portrait rectangle like this. Now, right click on the rectangles layer and convert to smart objects. Let's reduce the opacity of the black rectangle to make like 68. Press Ctrl T to bring the transform. Right click and select this dot. Now, hold down the Ctrl key. Left click and hold and drag and place this here. Do the same thing for the second side. Let's do the same thing over here. And then let's do it one last time. I think this is okay. Now, right click again and select warp. Over here, left click and hold and drag down. Let's do the same thing for the right side. You can use these things as well. So, gently align it to the white rectangle. I think this is okay, so I'll go ahead and select this. Now, the next thing to do is to push the opacity back to 100. Right click on the black rectangles layer. And then, select Create Clipping Mask. Now, double click over here. Let's go and copy our flyer. So, press Ctrl A for selection. Press Ctrl C to copy. Come back over here and press Ctrl Shift V to paste in place. Now let's resize our flyer to fix this rectangle shape over here. Press Ctrl T for the transform again. Hold the Alt key, then resize it. I think this is okay. What I'll do now is I'll press Ctrl S to save. Now go back to my mockup image over here. And we are left with just one last thing. So let's change the opacity of the rectangle over here. So let's change it from normal to multiply. Then we are done. Okay, so guys, this is how you can create your own flyer mockup in Adobe Photoshop. 